Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Swift Learn, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In Swift Learn, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student, where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule, and also we handle custom requests. A key feature is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on a monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests. And all the practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So students, those on who took a free trial class today, also don't forget to subscribe our channel. Hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update. I'm Shashank sir and today's topic of discussion will be decimals and its operation. So today is a fifth part. So yes, let us uh, see the objectives of the today's class. What will be the objectives of the today's class? Yes, so in the previous class we have learned about addition and subtractions of decimals. So let us revise quickly, find the sum of 50 and 24.9 and then subtract it from this. So yes, add the first two numbers first, add 50 and 24.9. So 50 can be written as 50.0, 24.9, add them, we get 74.9. Now subtract this from 40.88, you add a zero here. So yes, zero minus eight. So make this 9, 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 9 is 0, put a decimal point 4 and 7 minus 4 is 3, 34.02 is the answer. How much should be added to this to get this, subtract this from 900, you will get the answer, 900.00 minus 543.57, subtract this, you will get the answer. So 0 minus 7, not possible. 10 minus 7 is 3, not possible. 10 minus 6 is 4, put a decimal point. 10 minus 4 is 6, 10 minus 5 is 5, and 9 minus 6 is 3. This should be added to this to get 900. Take away this from 91.11, 91.100 minus 3.763 subtracted 7 0 minus 6 is okay so we have borrowed one so 0 minus 7 is 3 yes we have borrowed one again so 11 minus 8 is 3 we have borrowed one again 11 minus 4 is 7 and 9 minus 1 is 8 so this is the answer Now, let's start the new topic today, multiplication and divisions of decimals. So, operations on decimals, operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, we are going to solve in our today's class. So, In the previous class, okay, there was a problem, we went to a market to buy vegetables, but you forgot to pay the amount, okay, to the potato seller, you need to go back and pay them. So let's say you bought 2.5 kgs of potato and the cost of potatoes is rupees 20 per kg. So yes, how much should you pay to the seller? So what you need to do? Okay, so with this here comes the multiplications of decimals. For example, let us take this example of 0 0.089 into 0.766. If there are zeros at the top, at the left side, like you can forget that. You do 89 times 76, 89 times 76 is 6764. Now to place the decimal points from the right side, after how many numbers the decimal point is after 3. Here, after 2 numbers, the decimal point is that. So 3 plus 2 is 5. After the 5 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, there is no 5th number. So add a zero place a decimal point so the answer is 0 0.0764 this is how we do the multiplication of decimal numbers okay yes now 
see this let's say you have bought 2.5 kgs of potato at the cost of rupees 20 per kg so what you need to do is 2.5 into 20 multiply this zero with anything is zero so add extra zero uh, two fives are 10 two twos are four five. Uh, at the top from the right side after one number there is a decimal point below after zero number there is a decimal point so one plus zero is one place the decimal point after the one number from right so 50 rupees is the answer you need to give 50 rupees multiply this numbers get the answer yes this is like multiplying 4 3 2 times 12 2 2 are 4 2 3 are 6 4 2 are 8 add a 0 1 2 are 2 1 3 are 3 1 4 are 4 now at the right side after two numbers there is a decimal point here after three numbers there is a decimal point so 2 plus 3 is 5 add them first so you got 5 1 8 four. after the five numbers place a decimal point so the answer is 0 0.0 5 1 8 4 that is the answer Okay, now see this. Multiplying the decimal numbers with 10, 100,000. Multiplying a decimal number by 10, the decimal moves towards the right, shifts towards the right. We get the answer 22.5. One place. If you are multiplying by 10, shift the decimal point to the right side by one place. Multiplying by 100, shift the decimal point two places to the right side. 1000, shift three places. Now, there is a no number, so you can add a 0. So, the answer is 2250. Yes. Find the product of this 49.56 times 100. Shift the decimal to two places to the right side. So, 495.6. This is the answer. Shift three places. 2374.8. This is the answer. Yes. The sides of an equilateral triangle is 3.5. Find its perimeter. So, perimeter means you add all the sides, equal sides. But what is multiplication? Multiplication is repetitive addition. So, 3.5 plus 3.5 plus 3.5. You do that like that, you will still get the answer. Or 3.5 times 3. 5 3s are 15, 3 3s are 9, plus 1 is 10, 1 0 5. Place the decimal point. So, 10.5 centimeters is the perimeter of the equilateral triangle. The length of the rectangle is this much and breadth is this much. What is the area of the rectangle? Yes. The area of the rectangle is nothing but length times breadth. Yes. So, 2.5 times 7.1. 5 ones are 5, 5 sevens are 35. Okay, 5 sevens are 35. Put a 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 7 twos are 14. Add this, you get 1, 7, 7, 5. Place the decimal after two numbers from right. So, 17.75 centimeter square is the area of the rectangle. The cost of 1 meter of cloth is rupees this much. What will be the cost of this much meter of cloth? Okay. What will be the cost of this much meter cloth? So, 35.8. Let me write at the top because I am getting less space to write this, to solve this. Yes. 35.80 okay into 9.8 you can drop the zero if you want for now okay or you can multiply no problem zero eight are zero eight eight are 64 eight fives are 40 40 plus six is 46 eight threes are 24 plus two is 28 put a zero because you are multiplying with the tens number okay so nine zeros are zero 9 8s are 72, 9 5s are 45, 52, 9 3s are 9 2s are 18, 9 3s are 27, 27 plus 5 is 32. 
add them 0 4 8 10 5 and 3 place the decimal point from the right side after two numbers from right side after one number 2 plus 1 is 3 place it here so the answer is 350.84 okay rupees is the answer yes so we have got the right answers guys so now let's move on to the topic okay so now you come back to your home you have recalled that mother also asked to get toffees of the remaining account yes toffees bole to bahut khush ho gaye and now we have 15 rupees left are wa 15 rupees mein to bahut sare candies aayenge so how many toffees you can buy if each toffee is costing 2.5 rupees so yes in this case what you need to do so 15 rupees you are having each toffee is costing 2.5 so here you need to do division so let's learn a division of decimals so for example let's take this example 282.25 divided by 25 how to do this so let's divide this 282.25 by 25 let me show you this Two eighty two. 282.25 is it right yes divided by 25 now 2 is smaller than 25 so take 28 25 ones are 25 subtract them you get 3 take 2 down okay so 25 ones are 25 again how much do you get yes you get 7 7 is smaller than 25 we can't divide this okay and we need to take the next number so yes since there is a decimal point place a decimal point here also so 25 twos are 50 25 threes are 75 so 25 twos are 50 subtracted you get 20 22 and take the next number down 225 25 nines are 225 so zero is the remainder so the answer is 11.29 this is how we do the uh, decimal division okay now let's try this out three zero three point zero seven four divided by two two times one is two one the decimal point is that take the next number down before taking the next number down there was a decimal point so place a decimal point here two fives are ten reminder is zero take the next number down two threes are six take the next number down two sevens are fourteen fifteen one point five three seven is the answer 2.35 divided by 5 can i divide 2 by 5 2 is small than 5 so i need to take 23 since the decimal is there so two zeros are zero okay we know five ones are is fine but do i have a smaller number yes five zeros are is zero so remainder is to take the next number down three since the decimal point is there place this five fours are when remainder 3 5 7 are 35 0 0 0.47 is the answer a division of decimals on dividing a decimal number by 10 the decimal point shift towards the left by one places when you multiply it shift to the right place when you divide shift to the left place so 50 divided by 10 you will get 5 and 50 divided by 100 we get 0 0.5 50 divided by 1000 we get 0 0.05 the decimal is shifting towards the left side now how to divide this 0 0.018 divided by 0 0.6 see this guys Point zero one eight. I want to make this as eighteen. 
okay so if i may want to make this as 18 what i need to do 1 2 3 multiply by 1000 multiplying by 1000 you divide by 1000 also yes so this will be 18 and this you take see i eliminate this decimal by taking once so it is 6 into 100 6 on the 6 6 threes are 18 so it is 3 by 100 which is nothing but 0 0.003 one two okay 0 0.03 not 0 0.03 it is 0 0.03 this is the answer yes this is the right answer what they have done is to make 6 they have multiplied by 10 okay same thing yes how to divide this very easy guys check this out hmm may want to make this 18 1 2 3 4 okay 0 0.0018 by 0 0.09 multiply by 10,000 well divide by 10,000 why are we multiplying and dividing so if you multiply and divide by the same number the fraction doesn't get changed so this is 18 and take two zeros here so this is 9 9 into 100 9 ones are 9 and 9 twos are 18 the answer is 0 0.02 0 0.02 is the answer Yes, see this 0 0.02. Hmm. So coming back to the question, so you are having 15 rupees and each candy is costing 2.5 rupees. You want to make this 2.5 as 25. So multiply by 10, divide by 10. This is 15 into 10 by 25. 5 3 is a 15, 5 5 is a 25, 5 1 is a 5, 5 2 is a 10. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 toffees you will get for rupees 15 each costing 2.5 rupees. Now a bus covers a distance of 89.1 kilometers in 2.2 hours. What is the average distance covered by it in 1 hour? Okay, see this. So bus covers 2 point in 2.2 hours it has covered 89.1 kilometer in one hour how much will it cover okay so is the question mark it's like unitary method so it is 89.1 divided by 2.2 891 divided by 889.1 divided by 2.2 now multiply by 10 divide by 10 we get 891.22 now yes divide by 11 11 twos are 22 11 eights are 88 11 ones are 11 okay so 81 by 2 how much is that 81 by 2 is 40.5 so 40.5 kilometers is been covered okay so 81 right it was 81 so 81 half is 40.5 40.5 kilometer is covered by it yes divide this by this number 0 0.196 divided by 1.4 multiply by 1000 divided by 1000 so this is 196 this is 14 and 14 times 100 14 14 are 196 so, if you don't know the tables of 14, divide by 7, 7, 2 is a 14, so 728 is a 196, then again divide by 2, now 14 by 100 is nothing but 0 0.14, 0 0.14 is the answer. The cost of 24 footballs, the same kind as rupees, this much, find the cost of each football, 24 football cost 780.6. One football cost how much it is nothing but 780.6 into 1 by 24. So multiply by 10 divided by 10 7086 divided by 2 4 into 10. Okay, I've done one step ahead. So you can divide by 24. If you don't know the tables of 24, divide by 12. 12 twos are 24. 12 5 is 60, 
12 6 are 72 remainder is 6 12 5 are 60 okay and the 6 is there 12 zeros are 0 put a point 12 5 are 60 now take half of this yes so half of this is 3 Two five point two five divided by ten thirty two point five two five thirty two point five two five is the cost of each football. Yes, divide this number by this number sixteen point five seven eight divided by five point four. Yes. So multiply by thousand divided by thousand six five seven eight divided by fifty four into hundred. Yes, so fifty four eighteen three is a fifty four. Can we divide by eighteen? So let's divide by uh, eighteen nine. Are 36, 9, 5, 45, 9, 6, 54, 9, 6, 54, 9, 1, 9, 7 is the remainder, so 9, 5, 45, 9, 6, 54, 9, 7, 63, 9, 8, 72, 9, 4, 36, 9, 2, 18, 6, 12, 6, 3, 18, take 4 down, 6, 0, 0, 6 8s are 48. Now divide this by 100, we get 3.08. 3.08 is the answer. The product of two decimals is this much. If one of them is this, find the other. See, let x be the other decimal. So x into 0.56 is 1.5 triple double zero eight. x is equal to this number by this number. You need to find the division of this to get the value of x. Multiply the top by 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 10,000 and divide by 10,000. So, 1, 5, 0, 0, 8, 5, 6 into 100. 56. I can divide by 2, but it will be long. I divide by something, uh, some bigger number like 56 okay 14 to the 28 14 3 the 42 14 4 the 56 14 4 the 56 14 1 the 14 10 0 100 by 14 14 Fines are uh, 70, 70, okay. So, if you don't know the tables of 14, let's divide by the smaller number, say 7. 7, 8s are 56, 7, 2s are 14, okay. And 7, 1s are 7, 7, 4s are 28, 7, 4s are 28. Divide by 8, 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 8 fives are 40, 8 six are 48, 8 sevens are 56, 8 six are 48, 8 eights are 64. Divide this by 100, you get 2.68. 2.68 is the other number 2.68 into 0.56 you will get this answer yes so okay so yes that's all guys so what did we learn today today we learned about multiplying and dividing of decimal numbers so that's all for today so students those who are new book a free trial class today also don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any update i am shishank sir signing off bye bye have a nice day everyone